Alright, what's up folks? I thought I'd do a fun little video here kind of showing me cleaning some crappy and cooking them, right? That's half the fun is catching and cooking. So, um, I caught a big mess of crappy um, here during the summer. I'll put a link to the video up there if you want to see me catching those fish. It was on fire, but anyway, here I am cleaning them. I'm using an electric fillet knife, just kind of buzzing through them, taking out the rib bones, skinning them out. And um, I'm left with a really, really nice couple pounds, a big bowl of, uh, you know, boneless, skinless, crappy fillets ready for the fryer. So there's a bunch of different ways you can cook crappy. Um, this is how I like to cook them. Uh, first, I make a little bit of an egg wash, right, with just a couple eggs. You can throw in a little bit of milk or a little bit of water just to kind of um, add a little bit more volume to it. Next, pick, pick out your fillets that you want to cook. Um, give them a good rinse. Make sure there's no pin bones or anything like that in them. And go ahead and just throw them in that egg wash. You want to get all the fillets nice and coated um, so that whenever you put your breadcrumbs on, they, they stick really, really well. Uh, next up, I make um, my breading, right? For this, I'm actually using cornmeal. So you can use flour. You can use uh, panko breadcrumbs. I'm using cornmeal. It's a lot crunchier. It's going to give you a lot crisper taste. And then I'm adding some seasonings. I'm adding a little bit of cayenne pepper. I always like to mix things up and try different kind of combinations. So for this one, I've got some white pepper I'm throwing in here. As you can see, I'm not being super specific about it. It's all about taste. I do like salt um, on my fish, um, so we put in some salt in there. But again, cornmeal is the base of this breading, right? It's going to give it that crunchy texture. Um, if you like cornbread, corn muffins, things like that, this is going to be really similar. So make sure you get all that mixed up really, really well. So next, instead of using vegetable oil, I'm using duck fat, all right? I don't know if you guys have ever tried this, but it adds a ton of flavor to whatever you're cooking. So now that I've got my um, fillets dredged in the egg mix, now I'm going to go ahead and bread them up. So I'm just making sure that you shake off a little bit of the excess, throw them in the breading, right? Get everything nice and coated, mix it up with your fork good. Um, some people do a double egg wash where they put it in the egg wash, the crumbs, back in the egg wash again and then back in the crumbs a second time um, you know you do it to your personal preference I like mine just with one um, one dusting of bread or or in this case cornmeal but you want to make sure you get everything coated up evenly um, flip it around there stir it up again this isn't rocket science you know this is this is just frying fish it should be pretty simple and uh, pretty basic so once I get all of those um, mixed up and ready for the fryer I want to make sure that grease is nice and hot, right? Should be barely smoking and uh, throw them in, right? And get them cooking. Now, these are boneless, skinless fillets, crappy. Most of your panfish are going to cook pretty quickly. You don't want to overcook them because they can dry out. I mean, you're talking as soon as those breadcrumbs kind of get that golden brown color on one side, they're ready to flip. Usually, this is only going to take around two minutes. Um, and then on the, on, the, on the flip side, you only need to flip them. And, and let them simmer on that side for probably another one to two minutes. So, I mean, you're, to, you're talking some quick cooking here, um, total of maybe three to four minutes in the fryer, depending on the heat, depending on how big your fillets are. But here you can see I'm flipping them over. They got that nice, golden, crunchy, crispy look to them. Give it a little bit of shake. And I'm not deep frying them. It just takes a little layer of oil down in the bottom. So, uh, yeah, take them off. We always put them on a paper plate with a paper towel. That'll help kind of drain the grease a little bit. And hit them with a little dusting. Open them up here and take a look. You should you should see moist meat on the inside with a nice white flaky coloring, that crappy color uh, that we all love. And here you go. You can see the finished product. Plated up with some rice. We got some artichoke salad, and um, voila. I mean, just absolutely delicious. Fun catching them yourself. You clean them yourself, and you cook them yourself, and uh, you just can't beat it. So I hope this video helps. Maybe you're a little hungry. Get out there, go catch some fish, and uh, if you're not already, subscribe to Panfish Nation for more fun fishing videos. Thanks, later.